How do I prepare for puppy pickup day? Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, where you can learn to train your retriever with our online videos. Puppy pickup day. This is the day that you have been waiting for and that you may still be anticipating. And I've got to say, it's really important that you get prepared for puppy pickup day because you don't want to show up, pick up your puppy, and then be scrambling around making sure that you have everything that you need. You need to be prepared before you go and get your puppy. So there's a few things we wanna talk about, but number one, the first thing is, you're gonna need some supplies because puppies are puppies, they make messes, you're gonna to need to be able to clean it up. And one of the most important supplies you're gonna need is if an accident comes in, and that's what we call nature's miracle, which is a bacterial enzyme. So if they have an accident, you can kind of clean up the mess with it, but that bacterial enzyme actually neutralizes the odor and gets rid of the scent altogether, which prevents future accidents. So that's really important. You're also gonna need some other cleaning supplies anything that you would like if a mess arises. Some paper towels, maybe some good cleaner, anything that you can get to make sure that you avoid some messes. Now, when you actually go for puppy pickup day, you're gonna need two other supplies that are really important. Now, you're probably thinking of the first one, which is a crate. You're gonna need a crate just in case you wanna put your pup in the crate when you're driving at home. And then one that a lot of people overlook is dog food and water because your puppy's got to eat and they need some food. So make sure that you show up. And actually what I would recommend is, again, your breeder is going to be a great resource for you. Call your breeder, talk to them, ask what type of dog food they are feeding. Because on puppy pickup, as soon as you bring that puppy home, you don't really want to change the food right then. You want to make sure that you kind of give it some similarities as you bring it into the home and make sure that it's comfortable and has something that it's comfortable with and, and used to. So make sure you talk to the breeder and get the right dog food to have with you. Now, the only other supply you might need is a towel that you can lay over the crate for the puppy as it's in there. That will kind of give it some comfort and hopefully help it quiet down, but your pup might bark on the way back, so just go ahead and expect that. Maybe some earplugs or some music for the road. Now, once you have all the supplies that you need, there's some other things that you need to consider. And really, let's talk about the actual puppy pickup day. You're on your way to puppy pickup day. Maybe your family's with you. That is a great time to start talking about and communicating about different things about the name of the puppy, how you're gonna handle everything, what are you gonna do if certain situations arise. It's a good thing to go ahead and work those out ahead of time. That way the whole family is on the same page. And once you've got all that down, you can travel wisely, which basically what I mean by that is show up on time. Or if you're gonna be early, let the breeder know. Or if you're gonna be late, let the breeder know because they're balancing a lot of other people's schedules because it's puppy pickup day and they wanna make sure this experience is as good as it can possibly be for you. So communication with the breeder is going to be key here as well. Now in all the excitement of puppy pickup day, do not leave the breeder without getting the paperwork. It's very important that you get all the paperwork that you're going to need. If your puppy has a microchip, make sure you get all that information. Make sure you get all the, the vet records, all the medical records. That's very important. So make sure it's easy to forget because everyone's excited and you're thinking, I've got the puppy and we're going to get in the road and we're going to start heading home but don't forget the papers. It's very easy to forget, so just keep that in the back of your mind as well. And finally, what you wanna do is you want to learn your dog's body language. And now what I mean by that is, when you go to pick up your puppy, puppies are gonna be different depending on which puppy you're getting. Is your puppy energetic and excited or is it a little shy, maybe even timid? You know, if your dog's a little shy and timid, you wanna be gentle with it, but you also wanna kind of have a light, gentle personality and kind of get it excited and help build up its confidence. If your puppy's very bold, you may want to be a little calmer and try to calm down the puppy so that it doesn't act up too much or get a little too rambunctious. So those are some things to consider for puppy pickup day. Consider all that, keep it in the back of your mind and get ready for puppy pickup day because it's gonna be a fantastic day.